Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Stadium 180 and we are back with another gameplay footage for you today. As you can tell from the thumbnail, we are going to have a look at this historic completion reward for the Milwaukee Bucks. So let's get straight into today's video. As you can see here on the screen, we are going to collect this Amethyst reward. Now, you can see I have actually filled out the whole Historic Bucks collection. I did complete this for about 110k. Now, the reason I wanted to give you this gameplay footage was due to the fact that they have released this Vin Baker as a Ruby version in the Intensity Packs. As we do need into this reward queue, we are going to flip it. You can see here it is this reward Vin Baker. So, let's flip the card and see how it is. I'm actually pretty excited to see how he does play for his Amethyst version, particularly because he's not really a dunking card. He's more so a low post player. And obviously, if you go check out the footage from the other game where I had the Amethyst Al Jefferson, I'm keen to see what he's like compared to him. But as you can see here, we do have Vin Baker, number 42 for the Milwaukee Bucks, coming at a 91 overall. We're going to take a look at his stats right here. So we can see on the screen, he is uh, listed at 6 foot 10 as a power forward. He does come 88 defensive overall with a 91 offense. We're going to get straight into his stats. Now, the main thing which we want to have a look at are his post stats. That is post fadeaway, post hook, post control, all 90 to 92. We can see here he does come with an 88 shot close with an 85 contested mid-range. So he is going to be able to take those outside shots if needed. Other than that, his three ball is not the best, but he does come with an 84 free throw. And a lot of people have been asking and questioning, you know, what's his driving dunk like? You can see here it's only listed as 73. So there's really, really no point to see if he can throw it down in the lane because you're probably not going to get it. As we get into his system proficiencies, he is pretty nice all across the board listed at 90. As we're now going to have a look at his badges, you can see he does come with 16 gold badges. The main ones we want to focus on, as you can see here, is gold posterizer. Now, I know I was just talking about his driving dunk ability, but at least you know he will be able to throw it down if need be. But the main ones, as you can see, are on the board. Post spin technician, drop stepper, up and under specialist as well. These gold badges are going to be pretty excited to get into. Let's get into some gameplay. So we finally found our opponent. You can see we're coming against someone in the Emerald League. It is basically going to be this Vin Baker versus Carmelone. So it'll be pretty exciting. Let's get to the tip off. So we're going to kick it out to Vin Baker on the side. We're going to see if we can call a pick and roll. Basically try and take it inside as much as we can. As we do take the jam there. First points on the board for Vin Baker. Alright, we've got the steal. I'm just going to actually wait for Vin. I'm going to call a nice pick and roll at the top. See if we can basically get this cut animation. So we're going to take it in with James Harden. Can we take it up? We do get a nice little scoop layup there. Four points on the board. Puts us up by two. Right, I see Vin. I see. Let's see if we can exploit these gold badges. We'll take a nice little pump fake. Nice little spin move. And there's that gold badge. That's that post spin technician for you. You actually you'll be able to see what it looks like. All right, we get another steal. So I'm going to kick it up to James Harden. We're going to wait for Vin. Now, see Vin trailing on the sideline. Can we take it in? Can we take it up for a foul? We do get another little floater there. Vin Baker, eight points in a row. All right, I've got Vin nice and low down in the paint. See if we can take it up. Once again, he's just literally unstoppable, even in the post. All right, hasn't been the best quarter for Vin. He's been blocked on the last few times. Basically, he'd buy this car Malone. As we do take it inside, can we get a nice little layup there? He's missed on that one. We've got the rebound. Take a nice little pump fake. Can we put it back up? We do get the foul in that situation. Time to see what his free throw release is like. We'll see if it is quite nice. We'll set it up. It is quite uh, actually pretty steady. So it is coming in at 88%. All right, we'll try a second one as we make the second one as well. So it's the start of the second quarter, as you can see. Vin Baker has basically scored all our points so far. So once again, I'm going to see if I can actually exploit him down in the post. So I'm going to give him the ball early, see if we can basically get nice and deep. We are coming up against this Carmelone, so we're going to take a nice little pump fade. We do get a nice little spin animation there. Can we put it in? Yes, we do. That post move is literally insane. It is unguardable at the moment. Right, I've got Vin running up ahead. That was a, basically a bad pass from LeBron. Can we take it in? As we do take the nice little jam there. Out of the third quarter, you can see we are currently down by one. This Vin Baker is literally just fatigued. He hasn't been doing too well. So we're going to pop him into the post again. We'll take a nice little pass here. We're going to give it back to him on the wing. I'll show you what his three ball looks like as we do make the open shot on that one. So we'll actually showcase that he can make the three ball if needed. I obviously wouldn't be recommending that you take it with him every single time. His shot release and his actual statistics for making it is probably not the greatest. But nonetheless, you should be able to see that if the time comes, he will be able to make it nonetheless. All right, we've just grabbed the defensive rebound with Vin, so I'm just going to run it straight up with him. Can we take it in for a nice little dunk? Yes, we do. Fast break transition. So I've got Vin on the wing. We're going to see if we can take it around this car Malone. Can we? Yes, we do. We take it up for a dunk. He's dunking uh, as of late recently, which is good. Hopefully, we can actually keep exploiting that because if he can keep dunking rather than putting him into the post, we should come out with a victory in this situation. 
So I'm probably going to have to call a few timeouts for him. His energy levels are literally just not as good. They're pretty poor. So we do get a nice little steal. Give it back to him. Take a nice little mid-range jumper there. And he banks it off the glass. Alright, so I've just caught a few timeouts. Now, hopefully this should give Vin more energy. So we'll see how he actually does go in the post. So once again, we're just going to set up. See if we can get on the top. Can we spin around this car alone? Yes, we do. Once again, we'll pop him into the post. Take a nice little pump fake. Can we take it in? We do get the foul call and the N1. Yo, he is just burning Karl Malone down in the post like no tomorrow. Can we finish off the N1 with him? Take it up. We do get 88%. That he's making that every day. He's put up 31 points so far, and he's just literally just dominating for me. All right, we grab a rebound with Giannis. I can obviously see Vin trailing, so I'm going to kick in the ball here. Can we take it around this Karl Malone? We do take it up. We do miss the shot. All right, we've grabbed the rebound. Take a nice little pump fake. Take it back up. And we miss it again. We do grab a rebound. Can we put it back in? Yes, he does. Even though he is fatigued, he's actually going to keep putting the uh, putting the points up, particularly with that gold Tyler Scholar badge. But yo, man, I'm so lucky I was able to grab that offensive rebound. All right, we've grabbed the rebound. I can obviously see Vin trailing, so I'm going to kick it up to him just in this situation here. Pop him in the post. Nice little spin move. Turn around, and he does make it. Yo, he's put up 35.6 rebounds, 4 assists. All right, we've grabbed another rebound with Vin, so I'm going to trail it. See, kick it out onto the wing. James Harden, he should be able to knock that down from the corner, and he does. Yo, come on, Vin. Come on, Vin. Even though you're tired, show us what you got. Spin move around Malone. Pop him back into the post. Nice little spin move here. Can we take it in? And we do get the N1 in that situation. <laughs> Yo, man. This card is insane down in the paint. He's literally unstoppable. We are going to take it to the free throw. Can we finish it off with an N1? Yo, 79% and we do make it. So I've just called the last of my timeouts. My Vin Baker was literally just drained in terms of energy-wise. So I had to call the last of them. Can we run a nice little pick and roll for him at the top? I might show you what his fate is like. We'll kick it to him. Nice little mid-range jumper. We do get the foul in that situation. I'll take it. In. So I'm going to send him to the free throw line again. Yo, if he makes this, he's going to put up 42 points so far. As he makes the first one, let's get into the second shot. Once again, show you his free throw lies. 87%, even when he's fatigued, that puts him up to 42 points. All right, there's a minute 20 left. This game is pretty much done, so I'm going to kick it out to Vin Baker. Take it down past Lowry. Can we get another foul call? No, we don't. We missed him in that situation. So there's about 45 seconds left, and I don't think Vin's going to be able to get to the 50-point mark. You can see he's only put up 44 points so far. As we do get around at a defender, we take it up for the jam, put him up 46 points. All right, yo, we can actually do it. I do need to try and get a quick possession, so once again... Can I get Vin open? Can I get Vin open? Take a little nice little pump fake. Take it in as we do make the layup. All right, 48. We've got one more chance to try and get to 50. Can I actually... I might force a double team if we can, although I'm pretty sure my opponent might try and take a quick shot in that situation. He does get the dunk, actually. He does get the foul as well with that Sapphire Zach Levine. That Zach Levine card is actually a pretty beast as well. All right, so we've got one chance. One chance only. So I'm going to actually play smart on this situation. I'm pretty sure my opponent knows where I'm going. Okay, let's pull it out, let's pull it out. Not good, not how I wanted to end it. He is very, very fatigued, so I will put it down to that. My opponent's probably going to take the shot up, as he does get another foul in that situation. We do send him to the free throw line. Yeah, so this uh, Vin Baker card, he's been very, very fatigued in the fourth quarter. He's pretty much had the Gatorade symbol for quite a while. And obviously, just because of his speed, if you are trying to run with the ball, you're most likely to get a turnover. All right, we've got four seconds. Let's push it up. Let's push it up. I'm going to have to take a dumb shot in this one. We take a heavily contested three. Yeah, we missed it. I had, really had no chance of that going in. But, yo, you can see we do get the victory in this situation. We'll see how much MT we get, as I should probably be expecting around 8900 All right, we actually do crack the 1,000 mark, which is pretty good. We are going to get into his box score now. Yo, this Vin Baker went off in today's game. He, you can see on the, on the screen here, he did play 20 minutes. He put up 48.7 rebounds and 5 assists. Man, he was halfway near a triple-double. In terms of his field goals, you can see we did go 20 from 45. A lot of that was due to the fact that he was tied, so he's obviously not going to be making a lot of shots. He did get blocked a few times as well. Obviously, the other main thing that I did want to focus on is five turnovers. I am putting that down to his fatigue and his endurance level. It's obviously not the best, but you can see he also did grab three offensive rebounds, which was pretty sweet for me. He did put up six dunks as well, so you know he's going to be able to throw it down, even though his driving dunk's not the best. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's gameplay footage for the Amethyst Vin Baker. Time to give you a little bit of a, a feedback and evaluation, I should say. 
Now I know that he does have a Ruby version in the new intensity promo packs that have come out. Would I recommend actually spending about 100k VC, uh, not VC, I should say 100k MT to unlock this Amethyst reward? I would say no. If you are running him in a Supermax, so you can, as you can see here, when you are coming up, coming up against those players who are higher tiers, others outside of the car alone, he's probably not going to be scoring as many points. Furthermore, his stamina is not the greatest as well as his driving dunk. There are so many better power forwards out there, including players such as the Karl Malone and the, uh, the Amethyst, yeah, Anthony Davis. I thought he had a diamond version, but not yet. So I would actually recommend holding off. The only reason I'd look to invest to get that Vin Baker is obviously if you are grinding towards that Julius serving for the Historic East collection. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to always hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you actually do have the Vin Baker. What's his Ruby version like? But my same as always, I do want to thank you so much for your support and the appreciation in, in this new channel. As always, subscribe if you need to see more content. This is Stady180 and I'll catch you next time.